Ukrainian military using U.S. Vietnam war tactics for destroying Russian radars. The Ukrainian Air Force is trying to adopt a decades-old American tactic to neutralize Russian air defenses in the ongoing conflict, Business Insider reported. Dubbed Project Wild Weasel, the U.S. scheme involved high-risk missions in which pilots had to use their own planes as baits to lure out the enemy's air defenses during the Vietnam War. The strategy was used to suppress surface-to-air missile systems by first tracing their radars and then striking them with bombs or missiles before they could lock onto the baiting U.S. aircraft. Now, Ukrainian pilots are trying to mimic this approach by allowing the Russian systems to detect their aircraft before tracing their radar waves back to their source and hitting their presumed location with US-made AGM-88 HARM missiles. Specifically designed to target an enemy's radar, HARM missiles have been used by Kiev's forces since the second half of 2022. It is unclear how many of this type of missile were supplied to Ukraine. In March, the Pentagon asked Congress to allocate at least $6.5 billion to replenish its stocks, which have been depleted over two years of constant weapons deliveries to Kiev, Bloomberg reported at the time. The list of weapons the U.S. military said needed to be replaced included harm missiles, among other weapon types. The Ukrainian missions are still very dangerous, particularly for the wild weasels themselves. Frederick Mertens, a strategic analyst at the Hague Center for Strategic Studies, told Business Insider. He also described the Russian air defenses as the key target for Ukraine. Ukrainians use all weapons, troops and systems they have at their disposal to suppress and destroy Russian air defences, the analyst said. Adding that Kiev's pilots often go far beyond the classic wild weasel missions. The nation's air force still has difficulties using Western-supplied missiles with its Soviet-era MiG-29 and Su-27 fighters, according to American officials. Last month, U.S. Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment William Laplante admitted to journalists that Kiev's pilots have to rely on iPads to make their aircraft use Western arms. It is unclear if the risky tactic has been effective. Russian SAM operators quickly adapted their tactics. Justin Bronk a senior research fellow at the London-based think tank Royal United Services Institute told Business Insider, the harm launches end up serving a suppressive rather than a destructive purpose, he added. Russia's military has not reported any significant harm to its air defenses inflicted by the Ukrainian military. Moscow's forces have regularly reported shooting down harm missiles and other Ukrainian projectiles throughout the conflict, with the latest instance on April the 16th. Russia prepares to capture Kiev. Ukraine creates 10 new brigades against a new Russian attack. Oleksandr Pavlyuk, commander of the ground forces of the armed forces of Ukraine, has said that Ukraine plans to create 10 new brigades to prepare for a Russian offensive. Some of them will be formed for the potential defense of Kiev. Pavlyuk said this in an interview with The Economist. The Economist notes that one of the most urgent tasks facing Pavlyuk is the creation of 10 new brigades to prepare for a Russian offensive. Pavlyuk insists that Ukraine needs more equipment than people. In particular, there is a significant shortage of artillery and armored vehicles, which he hopes the West will provide Ukraine with. Also part of these new forces, 10 brigades, will be deployed to defend Kyiv. The general said that two and a half years after the Russian army was blocked in Kyiv, it has not given up its ambition to finally capture the city. Defending Kyiv remains one of our main concerns, no matter how tough it is in the east. It is the heart of Ukraine, and we know the key role defense of the capital will play in the future, Pavlyuk added. He said that the Russian army can no longer conduct large-scale raids on several fronts. In addition, Russia is using missiles that have just come off the assembly line just a few weeks after production, rather than from its once huge stockpile. Ukraine's armed forces are also much larger than they used to be. This, Pavlyuk notes, remains a strategic defeat for Russia. According to Ukraine's official estimate, Russia has lost more than 400,000 killed, captured and wounded. The loss of so many soldiers to seize a small part of one region is disproportionate for any rational mind. The ground forces commander believes that in unpopular issues such as mobilization, every official must show leadership. Faced with mortal danger, some citizens panic, and this is natural, but if the country wants to survive, people must overcome the panic and answer the call to fight, as they do in countries like Israel. However hard it is, we have no other choice.
In an interview with The Times, Alexander Pavlyuk confirmed that, based on Ukrainian intelligence, Russia does not indeed have a plan for the possible capture of Kharkiv and Sumy.